Welcome to Seasons of Stamping. Today I'm going to show you a technique called Versamark Resist or Ghosting. In this technique, ink adheres to everything except to the Versamark. The supplies you'll need are Versamark, stamps, ink, a brayer, a paper towel, and glossy white cardstock. The first thing we're going to do is stamp our images with Versamark. I'm using this stamp set one of a kind, two of the images from them. So I'm going to ink up my image, stamp it a few times, With the Versamark, before I ink it up with my color, I let it sit for just a little while to let it dry just a, little, just a bit. This seems to keep it from smearing a little bit, which it's prone to do on this, um, this glossy white cardstock because it's so slick. So I'll let that sit there for a couple minutes before I apply my ink. Next, I'm going to take my ink, which I've chosen crushed curry, and I'm going to ink up my brayer, which I've already done. But all you need to do is just roll it along the brayer. I'm going to start off the paper and roll across and re ink it. You want a nice, smooth layer. So it may take a bit of re-inking, doing this process over and over again before you get the final results. So now I've inked my paper, and the last step, which is absolutely the funnest step of all, is you're going to take your paper towel and you're going to buff the extra ink off and buff your paper. And what it does, it brings up the, it takes it off of the Versamark, because it doesn't stick to the Versamark, and leaves you with a very shiny, almost like a photograph, piece of paper that you can use with, on a card or all kinds of projects. But just a very glossy, clean look. Here are some of the other projects I did using the Versamark Resist. These uh, cards are all cut at four and a quarter by five and a half, so they make a great postcard. This is Best Wishes and More using the uh, Bermuda Bay. This is Circle Circus using the Crushed Curry. This is Knight of Navy using the Circle Circus. And the last one, the first uh, thing I did was use the Crushed Curry on the One of a Kind stamp set. And then I used the Dusty Durango on top of that. So it gave me two colors. I also created a card using Inspired by Nature. And that's Old Olive. And this project, which is not done yet, uses the color Soft Suede and Circle Circus. And this is going to go on a recipe tin for my daughter. I hope you enjoyed this technique. Please stop back by my website, seasonsofstamping.com, for further projects. Have a great day.